all about the clap back. Get your boss whack, premieres funeral on Snapchat. Ha! You now tuned into the bad guy. The sky's gray, it's like this every day The town is full of bread, a little turn, a little prey I flip a million out of nothing, make them feel a certain way Hoping that the switch What's good y'all, Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist You know why you at it Yeah, I know what time it is If you ain't with it, you best get with it Now let's rock Listen, Drew, what are you doing, beloved? What you doing right now, man? You, you got to sit down, man. Drew, Drew, Drew. Don't be the old man at the club. All right, don't, don't be that guy. Don't be the old, don't be the OG playing basketball at the Y trying to bat people down and like it ain't a damn foul. You ever play that old man at the Y who be hitting you with his ass and shit in the paint and be fouling the hell out of you and then tell you to suck it up on the other? Like, don't be that guy, bro. Drew, you old, bro. You washed. It's over. Don't make no comeback. Alright? It's not gonna go the way you think. You see, in Drew Brees' mind, he think he gonna come back. The fans gonna be in the stands. He gonna he gonna take his record back from Tom Brady. He gonna get the Monday night celebrations like he's been getting for 15 years. The Saints got a good roster. He gonna get lucky. He, Drew Brees is imagining all the things that can go right if he comes back. Drew, allow Big Fist to give you the red pill. Okay, Drew? Best case scenario, you come back to the Saints, you bomb in the playoffs, and they hate you more than they love you. Worst case scenario, you look as ass as you did in that divisional round game. You look as ass as you did in that game for 16 weeks, and your career and your legacy is ruined because i got news for you they're going to remember you for how you leave when you stay too long they're not going to remember you for what you were that's how this goes so what's going to happen is drew gonna come back he probably gonna get hit too hard he gonna get hurt again you know what i'm saying he gonna throw the team in flux and then he gonna come back right in time for the playoffs they gonna have to sit Jameis or Taysom or whatever the situation is he gonna come back for the playoffs he gonna fuck that shit up and then he gonna look all sad on the sideline again oh yeah man Jameis this is your team now bro you know what I'm saying he had to teary eye his last time looking back at the Mercedes no Drew you had your photo ending it just didn't end in, in Tampa but you had your, you know what I'm saying? You had your snapshot ending. You with the teary eyed walking out of the Mercedes Benz Dome for the last time. That's how you were supposed to go out. You playing with your kids while Tom Brady basically gloating and said, ha ha, I run this shit now. Hug the wife, threw a touchdown to your son and left. That's your legacy. Drew, I love you. Saints Nation, I love you. But there's levels to this shit. And when Tom Brady came to the NFC and smacked you, smacked Aaron Rodgers, and then put Patrick Mahomes' little ass a timeout, he basically said, I run this shit. So you just got to eat that. You're not going to come back. You ain't going to be no damn revenge tour. Ain't going to be none of that. Stop training. Stop running to the street and running back with the weights and whatever the hell you doing. Stop it, Drew. You should stop. This that's enough. Sit your old ass down. Okay? Ben Roethlisberger, the same thing, bro. Y'all need to understand. Fans ain't trying to hear that shit. And I'm so happy Saints fans are going through this. I'm so happy Pittsburgh fans are going through this. Because I was vilified for shitting on Elon Manning. I was vilified. Oh, you're a fake Giants fan. Eli Manning bought you two Super Bowls, Fist. How dare you turn your back on Eli Manning? Oh, look at Saints fans. 
Saints fans sitting there with a mean face. Saints fans sitting there sucking their damn teeth when they saw that video of Drew Brees pushing them weights in the street. They ain't trying to see number nine come back. He old. Pittsburgh fans is like, damn, can we get Sam Darnold? Can we get Teddy Bridgewater? They don't want to see Big Ben come back. Y'all vilified me. No. My quarterback just got older before y'all's. Y'all seem to y'all think I'm a fake fan because I hated Elon Men and no, I love the Giants and want to see them win. And when my quarterback is old and can't throw the ball past seven yards no more, I want his ass gone. That makes me a real fan, not a traitor. I got news for Saints fans. You're not a fake Saints fan because you sick of Drew Brees throwing five yard slants to Michael Thomas. There's nothing wrong with you wanting Jameis Winston in there, bombing the ball downfield, no risk it. No, I'm sorry. Go throwing on pork chops, you know what I'm saying? J Jameis like to call it call it pork chop time. So ain't nothing wrong with that. If you in freaking um Pittsburgh right now, there is nothing wrong with you wanting a quarterback that can actually line up under center and complete a play action pass and not have to line up a shotgun all game because he's scared to turn his back to the defense. It's okay. And by the way, Ben Roethlisberger, you look like Elon Manning. Every time you threw the ball past ten yards, something bad happened. There's nothing wrong with that. This is why you can't be mad at Bill Belichick. Because all these quarterbacks look like ass when they get old. See, here's the thing. Everybody needs to understand something. Not everybody going to be Tom Brady. Bill Belichick was right in wanting to move on from Tom Brady. He was right. Brady just happens to be the exception. But look at what Belichick is proving. Belichick is like, well, damn. Look at Big Ben. Look at Phillip Rivers. Look at Drew Brees. Look at all these old dudes. They, they old. They can't play no more. What, what Tom Brady did was different. Not everybody going to be Tom Brady. Drew, don't make the city of New Orleans turn their back on you. Because if you come out there and you stink up the joint, you will get booed. I'm just letting you know that. Ain't, ain't gonna be no sad story Ain't gonna be no we feel bad for Drew They're gonna be like no sit your old ass down Go into the booth I'm just letting you know that now I don't know why he wanna come back I don't know why Let it go Your legacy is not And you know what kills me with Drew Brees And I love Drew Brees but this needs to be said There's somebody got to say it. Drew you getting a second ring Ain't gonna do shit for your legacy bro not gonna do a damn thing tom brady got six i'm sorry he got seven he got eight hot whatever brady got two handfuls two handfuls worth of rings you not getting in that room dog drew you're not getting in that room it doesn't matter if you come back and win a super bowl and retire you're not getting in that room tom brady has a room by himself do i think paying man in is better sure but at the end of the day, Tom Brady got seven rings. He's in a room by himself. Joe Montana can't get in there. Terry Bradshaw can't get in there. It's Brady in a room by himself with his two fat security guards wearing earpieces, blocking out anybody who tried to get in there. He's going to have a whole wing to himself in the Hall of Fame. Okay? Drew, your second ring ain't going to mean shit. Hey, your man, they got a second ring. To most people, it don't mean a damn thing. What you think your second ring gonna mean, Drew? Let it go. Your records don't mean shit because this is a 17th game. Mahomes, Josh Allen, Deshaun Watson, they gonna pass your records in another, in the, by the end of the decade any damn way. So you're not gonna have your records for much longer either. Okay, Drew, you had a great career. You are missed the 5,000 yards in my eyes. I remember how great the Saints were in your prime. I remember. But that's the thing. I remember. If you come back and you stink up the joint, you know what you're going to remember? You're going to be remembered as? The guy who couldn't get it done the last half of his career. That's, the, that's what they're going to remember you by. They're not going to remember the good times. They're only going to remember the bad. I hate to bring up Kobe, God bless the dead, but until he passed away, all people thought of Kobe was the 60-point game he scored on Utah, and, 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 not, and the Lakers getting D'Angelo Russell and, and all that shit, alright, people forgot about the 81 until he, you know what I'm saying, 
it took it took a while to remember them 81 games when Kobe was rehabbing his leg, making 30 something million dollars a year. Don't oh oh oh, what you thought Fitz Vegas forgot? Remember when the media called Kobe Bryant selfish for taking that three year, $90 million deal and allegedly they couldn't pay Dwight Howard because Kobe Bryant took the deal? No, I'm Big Fist remember everything. I was outside. I'm just saying, if they can shit on Kobe his last couple years in the league, Drew, they can shit on you too. Peyton Manning was the greatest quarterback I've ever seen in my life. 2015, he won the Super Bowl and they still shit on him. This time, Peyton Manning, the only dude I know who get this for winning a Super Bowl. Because the last time we saw Peyton Manning, he couldn't throw the ball past 10 yards. So, Drew, in the most respectfully disrespectful manner possible, sit your old ass down and go into the fucking booth. I ain't got nothing else to say. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas. And I approve this message.